So I'm continuing on with the storyboard and uh, what I figured out is that even when I think I'm settled on a picture and I walk away you know, till the next day and then look at it again, I'm often surprised that, you know, that I thought it was just right. I thought it was perfect. And then I realized, nope, I have to change it. So the picture I had there before, um, I revised and uh, made a change. And this is the change I've made. This picture, the same thing. I started to put a trace over it to think about making the characters in the foreground larger. Um, and I may go back tomorrow and see something different and say, no, it's just not right. This one just came out spot on. It didn't take much to get there. And sometimes that happens. You know, you just have a picture in your head and it's really clear. And when the pencil hits the paper, it's right. So I was pleased about that. Um, some of these I've really struggled with. And for these last two that I did today, I really had to think about the light and think about the emotion of the scene because I could not seem to capture what I wanted with this until I focused really tightly on Spike's expression and his pleading for help. And I don't know what'll go in the background, but it almost you know doesn't matter. It, his position, his expression. Um, I may make more changes, but something is there that makes sense to me. And the same thing with this image, all of the ponies will be hugging the eggs and their eyes will be reverently closed as they gently try to warm the eggs, the dragon eggs. And the only one in this scene who will have her eyes open will be Fluttershy it's in the foreground. So I feel like I got a lot done today. Um, I feel like I'm getting there and this is just the first rough draft of the storyboard. I'll clean this up and, and tighten it up so I can really see the specific drawing. But for now, it's all about positioning and light and shadow and overall composition and how each page fits with the other.